Hello, you're watching a black screen at the moment. Uh, this will be the first recording of uh, Sid Meier's Starships. Um, just a bit of a background here. I heard about this game a few years ago. I really haven't played it at all or even done much research. I know it's turn-based. I know it's by Sid Meier and it has to do with spaceships. And it's some kind of strategic battle spaceships on a hex map. So, um, but it got uh, mixed reviews, so I, I'm not expecting too much out of it, but it should be interesting. So uh, let's uh, boot up the game and have a look. Our ancestors crossed the great void untold millennia ago. Pilgrims from a dying world long since lost. From tumultuous beginnings, their struggle Courage and fortitude gave birth to our civilization. For many centuries, our people prospered. Peace ruled our planet, and our understanding of the world around us grew. Our scientists have long speculated that ours was not the only tribe to make this journey and establish a new home on another world. But their searching has been met again and again with silence. Until now, the transmission was weak and incomplete, but in a language not unlike our own. Our anticipation grew. What culture and knowledge had our brothers developed during the long centuries of our separation? A starship was prepared. Ambassadors recruited. But gradually, the meaning of the message became clear. It was a desperate call for help. Galvanized by the revelation that we are not alone, our fleet has been equipped, and we are ready to answer the call of our brethren. What shall we find as we set our course beyond the stars? Okay, that was an interesting intro. It, obviously, it's done on a shoestring because it's mostly just hand-painted uh, work, but it's interesting for what it is. Uh, this intro screen actually reminds me a bit of uh, Endless Space as well, which is another game maybe I'll do a Let's Play of sometime in the future. So, uh, let's go with a new game. Oh, before I do that, let's uh, check my settings. keep the tutorials on because I've never played this game before. Let's go with the game. Uh, yeah, I'm going easy, map size small. Huh. This uh, reminds me of um, uh, Beyond Earth, which has the three uh, paths that you can choose. This is how, I guess, humans evolve in the future. Purity, I believe. They believe in the purity of the human race. Harmony believes in genetic engineering. They'll adapt to wherever they live. So you can see here they look kind of alienish. And supremacy believes in augmenting human, uh, the human body because they believe the human body is the best, I suppose. Random wonder already built. Huh. Watch for completing missions. Harmony. Your starships are repaired at half cost. Now let's try supremacy today. Are they the same meters? Yeah, they are the same meters, just different versions. Okay, um. Cost of cities, which are five percent. Oh, we can build cities. I didn't know that. Increases metals production. I like that. Four opponents. So let's start the game. Travel to the neighboring star system, complete missions, and gain influence. 
Uh, can I complete missions again? Okay, so you, you kind of start in a planet, I suppose. So this is a bit like uh, his uh, Sid Meier's version of Master of Orion. Control 51% of the galaxy to win the standard game. So this is a pure conquest game. There doesn't appear to be anything else. And be sure to use the advice. Okay. Can I rename the planet? Anytime you advice play anytime you like some advice, press the advice button. We'll scan your database for most appropriate suggestion. Okay. It's a shore leaf. Oh, okay. Our battle fleet is in range and can take advantage of planetary defenses with three additional me megabots. The five billion citizens of Hercules 92 control the Convergent Light Wonder, which allows us to enable long range laser fire. Oh, I can zoom in as well. Interesting. Mm, build cities, build improvements, warp nexus, planetary defense. Um, how does this work? Auto plant, crypto plant, research new technology, spaceopedia. <laughs> oh, this is basically a civilization game in space. Um, I thought initially it was just a low level tactical space sim, so, well, that's different. What I want to do is really rename this planet. Can I do that? Our home world. Yeah, I don't care. The United Federation. I wish I could rename stuff like that. Uh, let's save the game. Upgrade, build, and repair starships. Is this going to be like Masters of Orion, where I can build my own ships too? To upgrade your ship, use the tech buttons below. I don't like the look of these ships. Oh, looks like I can. These are like the modular parts. Torpedoes, sensors, fighters. So... Okay, these are my two ships, fast corvettes. Uh, accept changes, current balance. Increases the speed. Okay, I guess these are the things I can put in, but I can't change ship designs, I suppose. Let's back out here for now. Uh, nice. Research and technology. Build and repair, so can I build? Add a ship. Oh, well that was quick. I still can't rename ships. I can't add ships anymore. Okay, let's leave it at that. Accept changes. Let's do a shore leave. Maybe I should look at what Shore Leave does first. If your cruise system increases, they're less effective. So there's a crew system for the starships. 
Your increased efficiency in number of ways. Some sponsors. I guess the shore leave will help with that. One thing I, I I'm noticing here is the menu isn't as well thought out as I, th it w I thought it would be because with the uh, civ civilopedias, there's usually a search function and that I don't see here. Uh, no search. What is this? Can I move my fleet? Uh, build cities, build improvements. Let's build improvements here. Aquifer upgraded. Oh, that's how it works. Uh, I still can't. Full crew morale. I just want to move my fleet. One thing I've noticed right away is compared to, say, Endless Space, this game seems uh, a little bit more restrictive. It's very bare bones, I can tell right away. Oh, all I have to do is click on the planet. Approaching Cephe 57. Pirates are blocking our planet and we cannot get into orbit or beyond. Will you help us? Yes, let's try that. Displaying oh. planetary information. Highly reflective asteroid field, block lasers and cannon. One billion citizens are governed by shrewd politicians who will quickly shift the allegiance of your planet. Some advice. Pirates prefer a short range cannon fire. Try to keep your starships out of range. Okay. Chance of mission success 74%. Chance of mission success 74%. Oh, okay. It's, it actually tells me how quick how, the success can I. Yes. Destroy the pirate fleet. No asteroids block cannon. Okay, so it moves into like a different battle. Yeah, this reminds me of Masters of Orion because when you're fighting, you move to like a different tactical map. You're not playing on the same map, similar to uh, in Civ, where you're like on the same map the whole time. Here, you kind of switches to a tactical map uh, when you're fighting. So, oh, oh man, I wish I could rename these ships. Fire torpedo, can I fire? Plot the path of your torpedo. Torpedoes can detonate any time during their second and third turns. Oh, okay, so... I can fire like this. How do I... No! That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I see, okay, so... And then I can control it. I can control it the next time. Online. Holy cow, I have fighters? Uh, it's a bit of a traffic jam here. This asteroid field isn't helping. I'm not gonna run my ship into them. I don't have that many to spare. Fighters launched. Critical damage. Uh, what am I doing here? Run. Ah! Oh, I blew up my ship. God damn, I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, because the engines were critically damaged. 
Ah, why did I do that? But it blew up some of their ships. I lost my ship. Receiving all resources from Cefe fifty seven. Please accept a gift for four hundred food. A token of gratitude. Yours is firstly to come to our aid. Plus one influence. Seventy-five percent of our people now support your federation. I don't want to call it a federation. I want to call it an empire. <laughs> We're pleased to share out. Okay, fine, fine. Damn, I did it blow up my ship. Oh, I can repair it. Okay, okay, okay. Why can't I rename them? That's stupid. And I hate the look of the ship, they look kind of bad. No, let's do that. Okay. Uh. Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. No, we are not alone. This galaxy a good day. I'm Hotuma, first consul of Supreme Galactic Empire. Yeah, that's the one I want. That's spot on. That's spot on. Tidak menjadi masalah. Three planets. I can live with that. I do like this conversation tree because a lot of other games have kind of taken out a lot of the um, uh, uh, the more interesting parts of diplomacy. Well, not really interesting parts of diplomacy, but just <coughs> excuse me, but the um, whimsy of the old um, PC games where they would have conversations like this. And you just get very straight, uh, right to uh, business type conversations in, in other games. Nah, I guess we'll say that. Now, more. let us put aside animosity. Okay. Approaching Sergite 57. Backing out. Uh, let's try this. Approaching Leonis 76. Yes, Commander. Oh, so you get like different missions. Okay. Entering narrow passage. Let's try 
try to fire my weapon. Can I fire? Fire, fire, fire! Mouse over enemy starship to select your target. Right click. Okay. If this doesn't fire, then I can't do it. Stupid. Impulse power. Entering narrow passage. Entering narrow passage. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, okay, I get it now. Enforcements detected. Oh, I just wasted my torpedo. Enemy reinforcements detected. We'll get them next time. Okay, well, that's not good. Okay, uh, I sh probably should repair my ship. Okay, and then give them a shore leave because they're all red. They're probably all tired. Seven has joined our Federation. Oh, good. So we now have two planets under our control. I have trouble going there. Uh, see here. Auto plant upgraded. Researching. Oh, I haven't been researching anything. Uh, let's do an ion drive. Ion drive level one. Oh wait, I think this is an interesting thing. I think my research points accumulate here. If I don't research anything, it just waits there until I spend it. I think. Let me try this again. Uh, field theory. Completed field theory level one. Yeah, yeah, I just used up my points. So that's an interesting thing because. Uh, in a lot of other games, if you don't forget to research, it's wasted turns basically, and you have to constantly be on top of that aspect of the game. And it's a nice change that, you know, your research points can accumulate like that. Oh yeah, definitely, I want one free tech. Approaching Linsis 90. Three. I've been cornered by a Marauder Squadron in a friendly part of the galaxy. We'll need about five turns before we can warp our way out of here, shall we? Tough it out, continue. Speed is still critical, okay. Displaying planetary information. Yes, Commander. Engines 
disabled. Entering narrow passage. Fighters launched. Nice shot. I still don't know how to do this torpedo thing. Both my ships, so I guess I'm not ready for this fight. Enemy lasers disabled. Entering narrow passage. We'll get them next time. Oh well, that's not good. Continue. I'm gonna retreat. Sure, sure, we'll rest here, but man, that was terrible. Pas. 
So they're at war with, I think, the French. is doing. I'm so lost. Let me try... Completed quantum cognition bubble one. I'm just slowly upgrading my shit. Yeah. stealth. I'm gonna give each of them a fighter support. I guess the ships are just kind of generic. You can't really de design your own ships, but you can upgrade them. Let's do that. Got an achievement. Let's uh, try this planet. Approaching Volantis 63. can see why people don't like this because you're not really so much empire building although that's kind of part of it but like each time you uh, explore a new planet there's like these unrelated missions. Yes commander. So here I'm trying to stop this criminal from getting to the warp point. Where am I supposed to be going even? Fighters online. Fighters launched. Fighters launched. Oh, he's back there. to use that torpedo. torpedo. Look at them next time. Oh, what a waste. That was it.
Approaching Volantis. 63. Same quest. Yes, Commander. Fighters launched. One, I killed that, right? Your mission completed. Has it... Trade route established with Volantis 63. Okay. That's interesting. Fuel plant operational. Auto plant. Crypto lab operational. Planetary defense. Warp nexus complete. Operational. No idea what I'm doing here. Completed thermal compression level two. Adding cities costs food. And if I go here, build cities, let's try that. Okay, I've used up a lot of food here. I can now move my fleet, I think, directly there without, yeah. Interesting. Crypto lab upgraded. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, surely. Ni hao. Trying to get some of our influence now. Approaching Volantis 63. Yes. Oh, we're gonna attack them. launched. Torpedo incoming. My engines have been damaged.
We're actually doing okay here. Volantis, 63, has joined our Federation. So we're at war with this empire here. I don't even know who. Planetary defense. No nexus. Operational. Biofuel plant. Auto plant. Operational. Auto plant. Operational. Completed. Quantum cognition level two. Approaching Leonis 76. Sure Dueling, commander of that ground challenge. Our two best ships in this. Okay. Yes, commander. Fighters mm -hmm. online. launched. Shields disabled. Okay, that was Trade good. Route established with Leonis 76. Okay, I'm going to wait there until it turns into mine. Uh, what can I do here? Oh, no, 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 no. Did me to move there? Back, 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 back. Influence. Uh, let's build some improvements. Planetary defense. Warp nexus. Complete. Operational. Crypto lab. Auto plant. Operational. Complete. Okay. Let's do a shore leave. Le commerce fonctionne quand on comprend l'autre. Oh. You're really making me angry. Uh, 
gonna save here. And let's do some more research. Completed field theory level two. Yes, Commander. launched. Launched. Incoming torpedo. Incoming torpedo. Can't tell me that missed. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> My ships aren't really doing much damage to it. Torpedo sighting. Torpedo incoming. Ships are just insane. Can I retreat?
Fighters Online. to con concentrate fire. ships are left. So those ships are kind of weak. Okay. I might actually win this. Eridani, 57, has joined our Federation. Okay, that was a big win. Uh, let's see here. Fix that. Listening. Oh, you're going to declare war on us. Xeno materials level one. So I'm at war with everyone else. I think. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the recording here. Um, it's a weird game. I the interface is a little bit weird. A bit of an acquired taste, I would say. Um, and yeah, the, the game tends to move, seems to move at a fast clip. 
Um, you do control planets, build cities, but it's really not the kind of game I was hoping uh, to play. Initially, I thought it was a tactical starship simulator where you can build your own ships and stuff, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. You move your fleet around, and like when your ship blows up, you still have them. You just have to like fix them up. Um, so I'm s like upgrading my ships already into cruisers. I don't even know how that happened. I think it's just researching. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see how this game ends, I suppose. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is episode one of Starships. See you again.